Hey guys, I'm Michael Ban. I'm here at OPEX Fitness in sunny Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm a CCP instructor and the head coach here on site. And I'm gonna to talk to you today about how we're using the smart jump technology from Fusion Sport to investigate our own athlete's journey in fitness. So today we had James Fitzgerald, he is the founder of OPEX, do three different types of jumps. We did a non-counter movement jump, a counter movement jump, and a depth jump from a 40 centimeter platform or 15 and 3 quarter inch platform. What we look for is we're just looking to see what these numbers are using the smart jump technology. So for his non-counter movement jump, 16.9 inches. For his counter movement, 19.2 inches. And his depth jump was 20.0 inches. We can use ratios and basically simple math to determine where somebody sits on a absolute strength, power production, and a reactive strength continuum. So depending on where somebody sits, that just tells us what characteristics of fitness we need to work on in their program. All right, so now that we've done the math, we have James's results. Now we know that for sport, people should be somewhere between five to 15% higher for their counter movement jump, and eight to 20% higher for their depth jump in respect to the non-counter movement jump. But there is no research on fitness. So we're leading the charge in terms of figuring out where people should fit on that fitness continuum based on that time of year, based on their time of competitive season, and based on their fitness aspirations. So knowing that no assessment can ever give you the full picture of an athlete's profile, this data begins to give us an idea of what James's athletic essence is. Now it determines or helps us determine his athletic essence by giving us an idea of his power and reactive strength qualities versus his starting strength qualities. So understanding that different times of the year change those qualities, we'll be able to take into account where he sits today to begin nudging him forward in his journey. So if I were gonna draw any conclusions on the numbers here, I might be able to say that for James, his counter movement jump or his power production is really good compared to his strength and his depth jump or his reactive strength is really good compared to his strength or starting strength. But I might also be able to say that his starting strength is not quite where it needs to be. So instead of focusing a lot on power or reactive strength in this program, I might focus on the next phase on starting strength. At the end of the day, we really don't know enough about James just by looking at these numbers, but it does give us a pretty exciting chance to dig deeper into his fitness journey. And this is how we would begin a process of learning and doing the research on fitness. So maybe these numbers are absolutely perfect for fitness and maybe they're way off, but we are really excited to determine those numbers in the future.